Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, in today's lecture, we will discuss the critical analysis of brands within a business context. Uh, my name is Yasser Gulfraz and I'll go through learning outcome four today, uh, sorry, five today. So please do let me know if you can, uh, if anyone is there and uh, uh, you have any problem. Uh, if you can't hear my uh, voice or can't see my screen or any other issues. Okay, let's get started then. Uh, our today topic is uh, crit critical analysis for uh, of brand within a business context. Uh, branding is a powerful tool that influences consumer perception and plays a, a vital role in a company's long-term success. Our topic uh, we will cover today. Uh, uh, first, we will critically analysis the nature of brands uh, and the significance of branding. We will explore how brands create identity, trust, and competitive advantage. Then we will uh, critically and discuss the need for integration between brand pyramid, brand positioning, and brand uh, management. And finally, uh, we will demonstrate how branding is used to uh, strengthen a business or product. Uh, uh, critically analysis the nature of brand and significance of branding. <clears throat> Brands play an essential role in the business world acting as a key factors uh, that distinguish uh, companies pro ducts or services from its competitors. What is uh, branding? So uh, brands, uh, brand plays a, a vital uh, essential role in the business world, acting as a key factors uh, that uh, distinguish company product or services from is company uh, competitors. The significance of brand lies in its power to influence consumer choices and create a long-term market presence. So brands are fundamental to a uh, company's success, helping businesses stand out in crowded market and uh, uh, ensuring consistent demand from loyal customers. Right, so uh, next is characteristics of a uh, brand. Uh, uh, so uh, we'll go here, what is branding and uh, right. Definition uh, of uh, brand. Uh, different uh, 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 different marketers or different scholars and marketing experts have defined brands in various ways, uh, but the core idea uh, remains consistent. 
uh, according to Kotler and Armstrong's brand is a name, term, sign, symbol, or design that defines the makes or sellers of a product or service. Uh, this means a brand is more than just a logo or name. It is also uh, represents the companies behind uh, uh, companies behind the uh, 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 companies behind the product. So Roy H. William expands on the idea by uh, stating that branding is about at attaching something to a name and that a brand consists of all men uh, mental associations, whether positive or uh, negative. <clears throat> Uh, that arise when a person uh, uh, when a person hears that name the American marketing Association further defines a brand as uh, a combination of elements uh, intending to identify the goods or services of one seller or group of sellers uh, and to differentiate them from competitors essentially a Brand is a unique identif uh, identifier that help consumers recognize and trust a product or service is in a competitive market. Uh, these uh, definitions emphasize the importance of uh, creating a strong, clear brand identity that uh, resonates the uh, consumers and builds long-term uh, relationship. Characteristics of a uh, brand, uh, user imagery, country of origin, organizations, uh, organizational uh, uh, association symbols. So brand have several uh, 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 characteristics that uh, shape how consum per consumer perceive, consumers perceive them. Uh, one of the key characters is user imagery. For example, buyers from Tesco may seen as a price-conscious shopper, meaning the brand has built a reputation around affordable products. Uh, next is a country of origin. Uh, certain countries are known for producing high-quality products. For example, German scores are often regarded as the best in terms of uh, engineering and uh, performance. Uh, organizational uh, associations uh, is another characteristics where certain uh, companies become known for specific qualities. For example, Apple is widely recognized as an uh, innovative uh, company. Symbol, uh, symbol also play a significant role in branding. Uh, the M, uh, if you see here, or uh, you guys knows about McDonald's sign. So M uh, logo of McDonald is instantly recognizable around the world and serves as a, a powerful symbol of the brand's identity. Key branding uh, elements. Uh, there are several key uh, uh, important elements uh, that contribute to a strong brand. The brand name is one of the most visible elements often come need by a uh, uh, tagline and logo together these create the first impression of the brand and help customers identity identify it uh, quickly the brand position describe describes how the organizations want to be perceived by its target market it communicates uh, what the brand stands for and what makes it different from competitors uh, another key element is the brand promise, brand promise, which uh, refers to the most important value of experience the company's promises to deliver uh, to its customer. A strong brand also has a well-defined uh, brand personality, uh, representing what the brand wants to, known for, uh, to be known for. This could be qualities like being innovative, fun, or trustworthy. 
Brenton uh, Brenton uh, refers to the style in uh, which the brand communicates, such as being edgy, uh, harmonious, or conservative. Uh, brand story uh, brand story tells the history of the organizations and how that uh, history adds value to the brand and uh, finally brand associations include all the elements that customers associate with the brand such as its color scheme uh, image font and uh, signature so these branding elements work together to create a strong uh, a brand identity that uh, resonate with the uh, audience. Any questions so far, if anyone is there? Uh, significance of uh, branding. Uh, branding is a critical factor for business success due to the uh, several benefits its offers first effective branding improve uh, consumers perception of a product creating a positive image that increase the likelihood of a purchase uh, strong branding also fosters uh, great customers loyalty uh, as customers are more likely to continue buying from a brand they trust a well-established brand is uh, less vulnerable to competitive marketing actions uh, because customers are more likely to stick with a brand they know. Uh, branding also plays a crucial role in uh, facilitating sales promotes when product is well-branded. Uh, sale promotions such as discount or special offers become more effective because uh, customers are already familiar with the brand. Uh, customers' uh, acceptance is higher for uh, branded products as con uh, consumers are more likely to try or recommend products that have a trust name, uh, trusted name. Uh, finally, branding make cross-selling easier uh, as a customer uh, who trusts uh, one product from a brand is more likely to buy other products from uh, the same brand. Uh, basically, these uh, benefits highlights the importance of investing in strong uh, brand as it contributes to, to long-term business growth and market uh, presence. Any questions so far? Right. Uh, integration between the... Uh, now we will discuss integration between the brand pyramid, the brand's positioning, and brand uh, management. So first, uh, brand pyramid. Uh, the brand pyramid is representational framework used to on, uh, answer key question about a brand and its market positioning. So if you look at pyramid here, uh, this pyramid is particularly useful for new brands entering the market for the first time. Uh, the framework helps in understanding how a brand can establish uh, itself by building its identity from basic elements to more profound uh, values. The brand pyramids moves from uh, bottom to top, starting uh, with features and attributes which describes the basic characteristics of the products. Uh, next level is uh, functional benefit. Uh, which focus on the problems the product aims to solve by uh, for customers. As we uh, move further up, we encounter uh, uh, emotional benefits, uh, which consider how the product makes the consumer feel. At the top of the pyramid, we find cover value, core values, and brand essence. These elements define the brand deeper purpose and reason for extensive 
uh, oh sorry existence uh, guiding everything uh, the business does together these layers provide a clear roadmap for building a strong uh, customer focused brand any questions so far right elements of the uh, uh, brand uh, pyramid uh, the brand pyramid consists of several key elements uh, key elements each serving a specific functions in uh, defining a brand the features and attributes describe the brand purpose of the product in the market these are the uh, physical and functional characteristics that customers can easily identify next the functional benefits refers to the problem the product or service is attempting to solve uh, this includes practical benefits such as convenience or uh, cost effectiveness uh, further we encounter emotional benefits uh, if you see here a role of emotions of the usage of a product or services so these are the feelings or emotions that a customer experience when using the product, emotionals, uh, 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 connections often strengthen customer's loyalty, the brand uh, persona, uh, pers uh, pers uh, personification of a brand uh, is uh, giving it human-like qualities to make it more uh, relatable and then finally brand a sense uh, is the brand reason for existing this sense uh, guides every action the brand takes ensuring consistency in all interactions with customers so these elements work together uh, to create a brand identity that uh, resonates with uh, consumers on both functional and emotional uh, level any questions so far Okay, examples, next one. Uh, example of the pyramid can illustrate how this framework works in practice. At the base of the pyramid, we have the brand attributes, which uh, represent the key traits uh, that differentiate the brand from its competitors. Uh, these attributes are important in establishing what uh, the brand stands for in the market moving up the consumer benefits describes the most important functionals and emotional benefits that customer uh, receives from uh, interacting with the brand uh, at the top of uh, the pyramid uh, we have the brand values and brand sense Uh, the uh, the values reflect that the brand uh, delivers to its customers while the essence defines the brand's cover uh, 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 sorry brand's core purpose this could include a clear brand vision that outlines the reason for the brand existence a good example could be tech company whose vision is to make technology uh, uh, simple and accessible for everyone uh, by moving through the layers of the pyramid, brands can clearly communicate their identity, identity uh, and purpose to their audience, creating a strong connection with uh, customers. Brand positioning refers to how a brand is perceived by its target consumer and why they should choose it. Uh, choose it cover uh, sorry choose it over uh, competitors positionings help clarify the reasons uh, that consumers refers uh, prefers one brand over another a well-defined brand positionings ensures that all brand activities have a common aim and they uh, that everything the brand does a uh, guided by the benefits it offers to consumers Uh, several key questions guide effective brand positioning. First, the brand must be unique and uh, distinctive uh, compared to competitor. 
it should offer something special that no other brands uh, provided. Uh, brand must also be significant to its niche market addressing specific needs or desire. Uh, the propositions must be uh, validated by unique original products uh, that align with the brand promise. Brand positioning also needs to be sustainable, uh, meaning that the brand can consistently deliver its promise across all points of uh, contact with the customer. Uh, and lastly, the brand positioning should help the organization achieve its financial goals by uh, driving customer loyalty and uh, sales. Any questions so far? If anyone is there. Uh, brand positioning uh, zone. So to uh, better understanding brand positioning, it is uh, helpful to look at different positioning zones. Uh, which represents what the brand does best and uh, what consumers want most. So this is where uh, the brand stands out from competitors and capture the most attention from the target audience. Uh, in contrast, the losing uh, uh, zone is where the competitor does something better and the brand cannot compete effectively in this area. Uh, the dump zone occurs when both the brand and its competition competitors offer the same things, making it difficult for the brand to stand out. Uh, risky zone involves strategies uh, where the brand may attempt something new or different, uh, but the success is uncertain. So, uh, Understanding uh, these zones uh, were risky, uh, sorry, these zones uh, helps brand focus on the uh, winning areas and avoid competing in areas where they are not uh, strong. Any questions so far? Next is uh, brand management. It refers to a series of uh, techniques aimed at increasing the perceived value of uh, product or services. It involves uh, making sure the brand consistently deliver on its promises and build a positive relationship with its customers. Uh, strong brand uh, differentiates a product from competitors and give the business a rich, effective brand management goals beyond just marketing. It includes maintaining a consistent identity, ensuring customer satisfaction and building trust. Uh, when uh, done correctly, brand management builds loyal uh, customers who associate positive experience with the brand the loyalty leads to repeat business and can positively affect the company's bottom line. Uh, ultimately, uh, brand management is uh, about making a commitment to customers and following through on their uh, on the promise. Uh, this trust is essential for long-term business success and helps brand maintain a competitive edge in the market. Uh, next one is integrated brand. Uh, an integrated brand aligns all actions and messages with the uh, core values the organization brings to its business. This practice, practice involves ensuring that every company's activity 
uh, from marketing to employee behavior is consistent with the brand promise by aligning every actions with the brand. Uh, the company can create a long-lasting relationship with its customers. Uh, the integrated uh, branding process reveals the true nature of the brand uh, through a facilitated approach that involves the uh, ac uh, entire organization. Uh, this process ensures that the brand is accurately reflected in every aspect of the business. From product development to ensure service, ensure, uh, sorry, product development to customer service. Uh, the goal is to create a cohesive brand experience that resonates with uh, customers, builds trust, and enhance loyalty. Uh, integrated brand strategy uh, ensures that the brand's core values are visible and every touch point creating a unified and uh, uh, authentic brand image. Any questions so far? So uh, integrated uh, brand involves aligning every department of an organization with the core values of its brand departments like human resource, marketing, uh, uh, sales, services, product development, executive management, and operations need to be worked together towards a shared vision. This ensures that the brand promise is consistently delivered to con customers Executive managements play a crucial role in ensuring this alignments and uh, driving the brand's mission across all areas of the uh, business. By integrating the brands across all levels, a company can in uh, creates a long lasting relationship with uh, customers and uh, maintaining consistent image in the market. Any questions so far? So uh, uh, next is uh, 5.3. Uh, this is our third topic, demonstrate how branding is used to strengthen a business or a product. So basically, uh, uh, branding is a critical tool that strengthens a business or product by building a unique identity. When uh, properly executed, branding uh, distinguishes a business from uh, competitors, making it more recognizable and appealing it uh, appealing to uh, customers. Marketing audit for branding. Uh, marketed audit is a systematic. Uh, examination of a company's uh, marketing strategies and performance, uh, which helps improve branding efforts. So the audit includes uh, several components. Uh, if you look at here, uh, macro environmental audit, uh, this reviews external factors like economic, social, and technological trends that impact branding. Marketing functions audit assess the efficiency of the uh, company's marketing strategies. Then task environmental audit uh, focus on the direct environment uh, such as competitors and suppliers. Uh, marketing productivity audit measures the return on uh, marketing investments. Marketing strategy audit uh, evaluates the effectiveness of current uh, branding strategies. Marketing system audit reviews the process used to implement marketing strategies and uh, marketing organizational uh, audit uh, assess the uh, structure of the marketing department to ensure it uh, support branding uh, goals. Uh, conducted uh, regular marketing audit helps uh, businesses stay competitive and align uh, 
uh, uh, align their brand with evolving market conditions. Any uh, questions so far? Uh, why should you conduct marketing audit, changes in leadership, uh, rebranding, uh, rapid growth, prolonged poor results, getting ahead of the competition, uh, you need a strategy. So there are a specific situations when a marketing audit becomes essential. Uh, one of these is during changes in leadership uh, where new management uh, where a uh, new management uh, may brief, uh, bring fresh perspectives and audit helps incorporate these insights into branding and marketing strategies. Uh, Rebranding uh, is another reason to conduct a marketing audit, particularly if a company is uh, undergoing significant changes such as uh, redesigning its website. The audit provide directions for building a strong, uh, cohesive brand. It, it, if a business experience rapid, uh, 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 if, if uh, it's a business experience uh, a rapid growth, uh, its marketing and brand positioning may uh, become outdated and audit helps align the brands with its new direction and uh, prepare it for uh, future expansions. Uh, prolonged poor results. Uh, marketing audit is also crucial during times of prolonged uh, poor results. If a business is struggling, an audit can identify weaknesses in branding and marketing strategies and help turn things sound. Uh, getting ahead of uh, competition. Uh, an audit can reveal uh, which uh, what strategies uh, competitions uh, competitors are using and how to adjust uh, the brand to uh, outperform them. So uh, you need a strategy. Uh, lastly, if a business uh, needs a new marketing strategy, whether it is a startup or growing business conducting. Uh, an audit provides the necessary uh, data to create a robust and effective brand plan for success. Any questions so far? Uh, using the brand strategy, brand strategy is blueprint and guides how a brand is uh, perceived by consumers. The big data behind a brand reflects its core values and promise to customers. Uh, successful strategy connect the brand to the customers through its brand story and ensures the brand stays fresh by remaining relevant in uh, changing markets. Uh, to drive growth and profits, brand must make focused choice Uh, differentiate them from competitors. Effective communications ensures the brand is differences are clear to consumers. Uh, moreover, uh, uh, the brand experience should consistently uh, deliver on the brand promise to create long-term loyalty. Strengthening uh, the brand, strengthening brand involves several key aspects. Uh, the first one is a brand assessment. Uh, if you look at here, understand how the brand is perceived today by consumers. Then brand uh, advantage, uh, identify ways to nature and innovate the brand to stay competitive. Brand promise, uh, define what the brand stands for and uh, what, uh, what values it delivers to consumers. Uh, brand promotion and culturalizations, uh, culturalizations uh, build the brand's external image while ensuring the organization's uh, uh, 
lives by the brand so brand's core values internally brand strategy <clears throat> brand uh, position and manage the brand uh, uh, effectively uh, to align it with business goals and customer needs so basically when we talk about strengthening the brand uh, by using uh, these steps ensures that a brand grows stronger, more recognizable, and more trusted in the uh, market. Any question uh, so far, if anyone is there? Right, why consumer trust behind? Important reason why consumer trust behind. Uh, it delivers good quality product to services. Uh, brand gets goods rating and reviews. It charges a fair price for its products or services. It has always treated me and others well. It quickly addresses customer services problems. They have done a good job protecting uh, the privacy and security of my personal information. They treat their employees uh, well. Uh, it gets involved in uh, causing any issues that I feel uh, they have an obligations to address. Uh, it does not support social uh, political uh, policies. I object to. Uh, so... Uh, Trust is uh, why consumer trust brand because trust is uh, an essential factor in brand success. According to research, good quality products or services are the most important reason why consumer trust a brand. Uh, with 70% of respondent highlighting the uh, this factor. Uh, additionally, uh, positive review and rating significantly uh, contribute to uh, consumer trust as well as brand that uh, change fair price charge fair prices for their offering. Trust also builds when a company has a history of treating customers uh, well and when it quickly addresses services problems. Other trust building uh, factors include the uh, protection of personal data, fair treating of employees, uh, and involvement in social causes that align with consumer values. Uh, brands that consistently meet these expectations uh, will foster higher trust among their uh, customers. That's all for today. Uh, uh, any questions, concerns, or any issues so far? Okay, thank you very much everyone uh, for joining me this afternoon. So uh, for our uh, last session of marketing management uh, uh, series will be on next Saturday at two o'clock, uh, which is uh, which will be uh, assignment sessions. Uh, thank you very much by then. So if you uh, have any question between, you can drop me an email at yasir.ukversity.uk. And thank you very much and see you next uh, Saturday uh, at two o'clock. Thanks very much everyone and bye for uh, now.